Workers are striking Graybar Electric, and we were there, and we got video basically of the senator arriving at the scene, uh, greeting those workers. There you see he's greeting some union uh, leaders, and he's going to go over and talk to the workers as well. This was in front of the company facilities in Hazelwood. They stood with their picket signs, but also walk down the street. Hawley said he just wanted to show the striking union members that he supported their cause. Union members said they were grateful for the, for the visit by the senator. They have been on strike for 13 days now over wages and benefits. The two sides are to meet with a federal mediator on Monday. We were not able to reach a gray bar spokesman for their comment. While in Hazelwood, Senator Hawley answered questions surrounding the cost of his new Radiation Exposure Act that passed the Senate, but now must pass the House. Senator Hawley's bill would extend the law for five years and expand coverage of those impacted by government radiation sites to include people in Missouri as well as six other states. But it would also cost the government an extra $50 billion. Representative Ann Wagner, a St. Louis County Republican, was questioned as to how the added expense, she's questioned how the added expense would be paid for, saying there needs to be a legit pay for on this. Senator Hawley had this to say. I'm going to talk to every House member who will listen to me. The Senate now has done its part. The House needs to get on it. And I would just hope that, that uh, folks from here in the St. Louis area would be major champions of this. I, I can't imagine why you would not be. And I'll just also say this about the Congresswoman. She's voted for tens of billions of dollars in funding for Ukraine and other foreign wars. Who knows how much for corporations. If those things are priorities, shouldn't the citizens, residents of St. Louis be priorities? I mean, that's just, that's my question. Representative Wagner is quoted as saying that she's going to get the measure in the House Appropriations Committee to look for ways to pay for it. Now, President Biden says he will sign the measure into law if it passes the Congress. There is a June deadline, though, for the House to pass the legislation.